building is unique in the context of New York. Most of the development in New York into the future will be on the perimeter of the island. This is in the heart of New York City, but also a historic heart to New York City. Just to the north of this project, just across 14th Street and along Fifth Avenue, is a major and very important historical district in New York called Ladies Mile. And it was mercantile buildings of a robust and rather squat nature, sort of boxes in the city made of cast iron, very important, but sort of real materials. And just to the south of the New School's new University Center is Greenwich Village Historic District. Quaint and charming streets of a particular scale, largely made out of red brick that has softened with age. So there's this interaction with the atmosphere that we thought was a very important component of both Ladies Mile and Greenwich Village. And we suggested to the new school that we use a real material we think it's quite beautiful. It's hand rubbed uh, brass, and brass is an alloy of copper and zinc, so it'll darken with age but never turn green. The massing is robust and of a scale that we think fits well between the joint of what's to the north, these squat, robust buildings, and what's to the south, sort of charming neighborhoods. So that said, we also related the horizontal lines of this building, the sort of shingles and brass that produce these crisp shadow lines to the uh, New School's Joseph Urban building on 12th Street. So not only does it tie these two historic districts together and material languages that have integrity, but also the sort of history, um, the visual history of New School.